what y'all doing out there in TV land, man. If you ain't tuned in to Kofi's universe, you slipping. That's why I go get all my info for Black Culture. We do the best album reviews I seen. You know what I'm saying? Dope rap reaction videos. We do it all. You heard me? Go to Kofi's universe right now. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Man, stay in tune, loved one. That's how it's happening. Me. <laughs> YouTube, salute. Here's my album review of Dave East, new album, Hoffa. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Check out new interviews in the interview playlist. So, Dave East Hoffa album. You can check it out on all digital, digital, ah, excuse me, digital music platforms, y'all. DMP. 14 tracks, yes. Some people said it's 13 tracks, but there is a 14 track. The album is entirely produced by Harry Fraud. He already produced Jim Jones' album this year and Benny the Butcher album. So Harry Fraud is still doing his thing. The album is executive produced by West Side Gun. Yes. So pretty interesting though. And he did the... The album cover, he helped with the album cover. So, all right, so shout out to West Side Gun and Dave East collaborating with Griselda on this project for this. So, <clears throat> the features, G Herbal, Benny the Butcher, Jim Jones, French Montana, French Montana, excuse me, King Shooter, and Currency, y'all. That's everybody on the album. Oh yeah, we also got Steve Young, if I didn't say Steve Young, but so let's break it down um you hear this nostalgic vibe like reminds you of like the late 70s early 80s when it comes to the production you know dave east he just takes you down his own lane from harlem from slinging drugs to being in the game you know to make it out the game to where he's at now to give you that more of that boss um mafioso lifestyle like that that's that status like that you know when you're sitting at the throne and nobody can be touched you know italian mob style gangster style <laughs> some of the tracks that sit out to me that i like the most just another rapper um dave went off on that i ain't gonna lie he definitely went off on that the, un the Uncle Rick track featuring Benny the Butcher, at first, I didn't care for it as far as the, the production-wise. But when I heard it like a several times, okay, this track is decent. Um, I Can Hear the Storm. That's a dope track right there. Super, super, super dope track right there. And Yeah, I Know featuring King Shooter. Um, that track right there is, you know, is, is, is fire. It's definitely fire. Overall... When it comes to creativity of this album, I give it about a seven. It was nothing that really stood out too much. It was just like the typical Dave East you're going to get. I thought we would get more of storytelling, more of just Dave East painting more pictures of things he was doing. So it was just the typical Dave East as far as production wise from Harry Fraud. I get the production a solid 7.5, 7 to 7.5. That's the production. As far as the features, the features, I give it like a 7.5. I mean, I felt like I would have loved to see different. I would have loved to see a track with West Side Gun. I would love to see something different, but it is what it is. I'm not mad about that. I mean, you know, it's his project. Uh, he wanted to do exactly what he wanted to do. What I disliked about the album, majority of the songs are like two minutes. <coughs> <coughs> two minutes are like 30 seconds. Two minutes and 40 seconds, excuse me. So that's what I didn't like about the album. Songs were too short for me. I felt like he just got in the booth, yada, 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 boo bop. That's one thing I do not like today. Songs are too short for me. You don't get the vibe no more. You don't get the five, six, seven minute songs like you would get back in the day from Nas, Mob D, Wu Tang, Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube. <coughs> There's still some artists today that will give you like, you know, a long song, maybe Royce the Five Nine, Kendra Lamar, so on and so forth. But you don't he really hear that too much no more or see that. So that was a dislike. I wish I would have seen I would have would have had more storytelling on this album. I would have been very satisfied if that would have happened, but it didn't happen. 
if I had to grade this album, I'd give this album like a 7.2 out of 10. You know, it's mediocre. It's it's not like, oh my God, it's fire. Damn, um, this shit is off the chain. No, it's not to me. It's a mediocre album. You know, Davies, I still like him. I think he's super dope. I felt like he could have put his foot down more. Maybe he was just trying to just put a project out so he can just please the fans. Who knows? But um, I want y'all to check it out on all digital music platforms. And if you heard the album already, please <clears throat> let me know in the comment section what you think about Hoffa. All right, post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction. For sponsorships, that's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.